Hey, it's Andy Brooks, and welcome to another haul. It's just a small one, but I wanted to open a couple of these, so I thought I'd get it out of the way. We'll get the important ones done first. Uh, we have set 75193 Millennium Falcon Microfighter. Now, this is the second one we've got like this, except this one's different, so it's not the second one we've got like this. It's the second Falcon in a micro figure, but a micro fighter, but um, yes, this is slightly different to the last one. The last one. Had Han Solo and flick fire missiles, if I got it right, and a round radar dish, and looks slightly different in the front here. But yeah, does this mean that they are running out of ideas, or is it just the set that had to go opposite? the uh, first order set that they released as well I'm not sure very cool got a few of these chewies now but um, I had to have the um, set is the other ones a um, couple I've already got though I don't open these I can very little Star Wars that's new. Only if I ever can afford a double, like, you know, but <laughs> which doesn't happen a lot. And I don't do it with these micro fighters because they, as much as they, they do interest me, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I had two, I brought two of the Falcons, the last one they'd done, and I ended up giving one away because. I just I was just sitting on the piano gathering dust and I don't really have a display cabinet of such for Lego. I've got a couple of things displayed but yeah. So 75193 and that is up against set 75194 First Order TIE Fighter. So, if you can see what I mean, you know, if they were making this set, what would they put against it, other than the Falcon? But yeah, I can't think of um, anything else that they've, um, haven't already made that they could have um, used there. I'm just trying to think of this. Where the ships were, on the Rebel side. Yeah, we could add an X wing. That sounds good. Not sure if we've had an X wing actually. Must have a look back. So, yes, very cool, cool mini figure. Nice to have another one of those. I um. Need my glasses on because I can't quite see. They're not quite prescription, they're just hobby, but some hobby glasses, but they're enough to. I'm blind enough that it doesn't. Gosh, that looks dark in that helmet area. What, what's going on there? Is it the. where my light is? So I want it back there and just. do a zoom in. Oh, that, that's better. It's just hiding some of his features in his helmet. Very cool minifigure. Very cool. Nice. Have we had a TIE fighter in the first order? Oh, flick missiles on this one. They didn't put the others on that. Gosh, why do I... 
I um, I just brought these and I buy things in a hurry and I, I see like I'm not happy with that how that's been nunged but yeah so we've got gosh I can't is that Six o one seven o. I'm trying to figure out if that's blurry or not. It, it actually looks blurry to me, but I'm not sure what's going on there. I can't. It shouldn't be blurry. Anyhow, we've got. Um, I think this is mountain cycle chase. Maybe. Hang on. I do have a the latest. A real pain not having set names on sets, especially when you're doing stuff like this. So we've got our latest catalogue, and they're just so little. You know, well they're not little, but they they are smaller than what we used to get. And we have off-road chase. That's what it's called. Off-road chase. So yeah. Oh, that. I'm just getting blur everywhere. I, I really hope this is working. And you guys can see that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ditch this video and make another one. Uh, main reason for getting this is I desperately want to see what that motocross helmet is like. Um, I think one of my favourite city sets is um, from maybe 2012, um, one that I own you know, anyway, um, and it's a four wheel drive pulling a couple of dirt bikes, and um, they've got the old helmets on them and I was like man we need a dirt bike helmet for these mini figs um, I was a keen motocrosser at the, the age of 16 to about 16 to 18 before to sort of year around there think things got out of control pretty quickly in my life and um, it's, uh, it's another story but yeah um, when I'd put down Lego and picked up dirt bikes, um, oh, I, it was so, so much fun, just so much fun. Just There's nothing like throwing a dirt bike around a track, full full noise. It's, um, it's a throw and a half. And um, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Took the thrill levels to uh, to extremes in my life, and uh, regrettably, hey, but I'm still here, so that's a good thing. Uh, second set I got that I just had to have a look at was um, seven six one seven one. Um, now I'm back in 2012, I think it was as well. Mountain Police, it might have been 2011, I'm not sure, 2011, 2012, I'm sure it was 12, anyhow they um, had the first time they'd done the brown bear and they had a beehive which was brick built and um, I just I had to have a look at this one, uh, I wanted to have a look at her um, hair piece and cap, um, let's see what the set name is. Mountain Fugitives. Um, I wonder if the... Because um, they're using the the Mountain Police hat again, which is, you know, like a mounted policeman's hat, the Canadian Mounted Police type hats. Oh, I guess they use them in, in the US as well, in the um, park ranger stuff and 
things. Yeah, yeah it's not all that. Um, yes, I, I super like this set. Um, it's this new bar piece, which is just a fantastic, you know, it just fits so well. Uh, what a great thing for Lego to have made. Um, super interested in seeing the beehive piece. Um, it looks so cool compared to the, you know, the two, um, that just had a, a cylinder brick, um, and actually it was, it's just a, the, the round, like, um, like that, but like that bit on the log there and, um, and just the cap of it, the, the top bit that goes on there, um, they had that with a, a, brown rod stuck in it, stuck in a tree on a gold mine um, in, a, in the mountain police, forest police I think, that's what it was called, forest police. Anyhow, here's the back of the box, he's in a bit of trouble now, in a lot more trouble now with the police coming to get him and man he ain't gonna escape with that on his head, he'll be falling over and going help. Uh, looks like she's in a bit of trouble or... She looks like she's trying to get away and he's just too cool and managed to, can you know, lasso her. I love those eyebrows on this um, female, that they're, they're just wild. She looks like a bit of a queen bee with those antennae eyebrows. They're just, they're just too steep, too, too up in the air. I guess it gives her that evil look, but um, looks like he just has the one face. He's got the cheesy grin on all his pictures. Uh, so there's the helmet, the old helmet. That's the old helmet that they used to put on dirt bikers. And yeah, n now that we've got a motocross helmet, it's just so cool. It's a shame they couldn't have made those goggles a little bit smaller. Just, just a little bit. I don't know how, but yeah, yeah, they look a bit creepy that big. I actually got this set in it, and when I got to the counter, I realised it had a big smack in the corner, and I couldn't see this anywhere because these two were together down on the shelf. When I got there, I could only see this one and all the other sets, but when I got to the counter and saw that the corner was bashed in, I said, oh, I've got to swap it for one that was tidier. Got back down there, then I saw those, which was somewhere totally different, so I was like, cool, that's what I really wanted to get for the dirt bike and the helmet. So I grabbed that, and it's got that horrible mark on it. I don't know, maybe I'll have to just open that one and buy another one. Uh, paid, these were $15 each, normally 18 in New Zealand, but... They're always cheaper at the warehouse now. And um, that was $12. I've seen it for $12.50. So a 50 cent saving on that. Um, this was $16. Possibly sells for $18. Uh, I should have had a look at that. Cool to get some um, some gold bullion as well. Instead of $100 notes like they normally do. But yeah. Yeah, super cool. I love this uh, print as well, I've probably gabbed on too long already, but yeah, love the print on the log, another reason for uh, investing in this little set, and just, yeah, something I can have a play with. Right, oh, there's one last thing, I, um, just as I was walking through, these aren't in a box, they're all clipped to, to the wall, you know, there's hundreds of them clipped to, to a piece of plastic, and I I had a quick feel, and I thought, oh, is that the, um, is that the flame? Is that the flame piece? And I was like, shit, maybe, because I don't have um, the skeleton. I thought a knife, and would, would you believe I can't find it? Oh, it's sitting on it. This is the one. So. I think that I've got the flame. 
chap in here. Well, I hope it is, the Skellington guy. If it isn't, I've no idea what it is. Because it can't um, seem to feel it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you're um, able to see this cat. Mm. Sounds like you need a new knife there, Andy. Or a new blade. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I should ride the London on that one. Oh! Oh, it's Alfred with the guitar. I don't think, think I had this one. If I do, I'll be totally bummed out. Wow. Thought you knew, eh? I think I might have Alfred with a guitar. I just can't remember. I'm pretty sure I do actually. Oh, he's got a skirt, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'm not happy. <laughs> not happy. Not not at all. <laughs> Unless I don't have him. I think I do though. I think they're, where have I got them actually, are they in the lounge or in here? Yeah. I think they may be in the lounge. Oh well, maybe I could uh, sell them. Here we go, Alfred. I was in such a hurry, I don't know how I thought that was a flame. I thought it might not have been, but I was just being hopeful. I just, like, I had about two minutes to get in and out of the store. So, yeah, that's, um, that's what happened there. So, these are our haul. I'm not sure what number it is, but, uh, 36 maybe. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked that one. Awesome for watching, and... Just leave us a comment if you want me to have a look at your channel. Um, I'm happy to do so. Thanks a lot. See ya. Bye bye.